Hey, it's Matt with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and it is Wednesday. It's July 10th. This will be our chart listen for the day, and really big rally day today, as you can see on the daily chart. We opened on the low and closed almost on the highs, and we did push way outside of this upper trend channel. So, is this an overshoot, or is the channel on up here further? which is a distinct possibility. It also fits pretty good right through there. So we we may not have topped out on this thing yet. We're definitely getting back up in their overbought territory again. So uh, we could see another correction like we did here where we just pretty much go sideways for a little bit till we kind of relieve that and then bounce off the midline and went higher. I mean, there's no real sell-off there at all. Here we had a little bit of a sell-off. Here we had a sell-off. Uh, but other than that, it's like this was really not even a sell-off. We just traded sideways till we relieved the overbought situation, and then, then it rockets off higher again. So, uh, yeah, crazy day. Uh, we're, looks like we're going higher here. So I, I don't know where this top's going to be up here. Um, this thing's in a definitely in a we're definitely in a bull market. I guess it will stay that way until the, at least the election comes. So, uh, I mean, with us getting in this overbought territory, we could see a correction. It could just be sideways again. I, you know, I don't know what to expect other than we're going up and we'll probably keep going up for a while. Even if we get a correction, probably a little bit longer term, at least through November, we're probably to the upside. So, um, really all we can do is flip over to the other chart and uh, the 2000 tick chart and you can see there weren't a lot of trades today because there weren't many setups but you can see it was after a bit of a correction it was mostly appeal so let's flip over to that other chart and take a look at it here it is uh, notice we had a spike in channel here and then we had a real quick break it looked like it might be another one of those uh, days where we just chop sideways we, we got a big gap here we couldn't quite make this target here on the second leg, um, but it's a total fake out. Uh, it looks like we're really, really, if you'd asked me right in here, I'd have said we're going to retest this. Uh, we're going to fill this gap at a minimum, and it'll probably be a range day. And then suddenly this thing reverses, and it's off to the races. I mean, uh, usually you don't get go steeper, you go flatter, and this thing's here. A little correction and then it's steeper and you can see here we did go a little flatter um, really I, I was playing it like this right here until we got this last move up and this may be more uh, this may be the correct way right here I'm gonna put it back to how I had it but um, yeah this market wants to go higher so let's zoom in here. You had to be patient because it was really slow early on. Um, not a lot of trades here. 7 o'clock came just as we're starting to make this last push up. And you got a little triple test there. Uh, big bearish bar. I like going short there. Uh, just to ride it back to the EMA. And if you get lucky it may go further. But you can see it bounce there. And there's a hidden second entry here. Notice the move up first entry move up and then it turns down again that's a second entry uh, a hidden second entry so um, maybe you take that trade you're looking for a retest of this low you're actually you've actually got a break of the screen when in a new high in place so you're looking for a retest of this uh, khaki channel or yellow which however it's it's really khaki it looks kind of yellowish but um, you're looking for a retest of that channel uh, and so you would expect prices to try to push lower and what do you know we get our typical two legs down we kind of find some support where we had it there previously and we take off uh, unfortunately you just don't get a setup here and it's you know it's it's chopping up weakly but it's still going higher but it's, it's very weak choppy move up and it's just hard to trade that you don't get a lot of good setups and there's not a lot of good setups here and we bounce at the trend line again but that's like a third entry we do get a close outside and a new low all in one right at the trend line so that's another possibility 
in real time I didn't like it looking at it after the fact yeah maybe you go along there if you're reading it the way I'm reading it here uh, there is a good bit of room back to the EMA there um, what you really need to do is probably wait on the high or low and you never got a trigger there at least you don't on my chart then it drops down makes another leg then we then you can realize we're trending lower again here here you only get a first entry um, I don't think you can treat that as a lower high but then you do get a lower high here and you also um, it really looks like a second entry short there too you could count that as a double bottom so first entry second entry there's not a lot of room back to the lows uh, it is a trap it's what I would call a uh, failure um, it's a little more advanced so I made it green so and, and this one's got a few more nuances that are probably more advanced for a lot of people so I didn't make that one green and we never really get a break in new low here we just suddenly reverse um, we did get a reversal pattern here uh, on a reversal pattern uh, and again it's more advanced most of you shouldn't even, don't even worry about it you don't care too much about the signal bar because it's a trap and you can see how it shot up right there real fast that's a tra that's a trap and so that's the only reason I like that one it is I did mark it green because it's very advanced and it's 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 risky especially for new traders uh, we run up we come back we make um, first entry and you come back again actually there's a second entry long when we go past this bar right here and you could enter there um, because you do get a close outside and a new low all in one bar there I prefer to see um, a triple test here because we're just kind of in no man's land and that does look a little congested but you could have entered there but notice it comes back and, and gives you a triple test and a higher low slightly higher low that's where I like going long and look at it take off there and these are all just first entries now again there is somewhat of a trend line here that you could draw on here it's just another inside type channel here it's a trend within a trend it's probably more like this right here and so um, if you see this and you recognize what's going on maybe you take that trade right there uh, that would explain that trade a little better having that trend line on there so maybe you take that one too uh, we make a little higher or low here it is two legs back but you got to be careful with that uh, a lot of times you want to count these double tops as a new high and we're just not really correcting that much anyway that's the real thing you're not really getting enough correction to uh, get a higher or low so your higher lows actually come way up here and notice the new high and you get a first entry second entry again right off that key entry point um, at this point it was off the midline as well so I like going long there it's it's obvious this is a pretty strong trend by that time there's a high or low here but you got to go low um, long at the very high of the day that's never a good idea uh, it would have worked but you can see it's not long before it corrects and if you got a good signal bar right here by all means you could go long there because it's definitely two legs back to the main key entry point uh, my signal bar just doesn't qualify there but I get a higher low here that looks good and then you get a reversal here so you could either if you didn't enter here you could enter here or you could even mat on here again it's more advanced so I made it green it's not for most everybody um, but if you if you recognize what's going on there right off a key entry point uh, they're probably going to trap people and you can see it take off and then we work our way back again uh, there's actually a second entry long if it when it triggers here but it doesn't trigger to this bar and it doesn't qualify and probably a good thing because you probably would have got trapped and it comes down here and just bounces along and again uh, there's some you, 
if it would have broke above that bar, maybe you go long, but it doesn't, and it goes lower, and it and you, it, you get a four bar matching high there, and then this little doji inside bar, and you can't enter above that. So and you definitely don't want to enter right into those highs, even though it takes off. And we're working back again, a close outside and a new low. Now, this is a third entry long here. Your second entry was right here. And um, so that's like a third entry. So maybe you wait on the higher low. Um, and you don't get that till here. And again, I don't think you want to go long above that bar right there. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a possibility you could have because it is a higher low. Um, but I like this one just because now you got another, you got confirmation of that trend line and it's an EMA and another nice signal bar and it's just like one minute into it's like 231 so you could go long on that bar right there so I think you're better off they're both a little aggressive but I think if you're going to enter you're better off on that one and, and anytime you enter after 230 it's it's questionable because if you make a mistake, you don't have time to make it back in a lot of cases. But if you did enter there, you could have ridden this out and had a really nice trade here. And again, is that an overshoot right there? Or is that, that's just probably the late afternoon low volume. They had it already rallying and they just continue to rally it on up. So uh, this market wants to go higher. That's all there is to it. And you can't argue with it. Uh, you know, we had... We had kind of a slow week last week, so everybody's probably back by the middle of the week now, or back to work, and um, maybe that had something to do with the rally today. Powell's testifying the last couple of days. Maybe he said something that sparked the market. Who knows? Doesn't really matter. Um, all that matters is what the chart says, and it's clear we were going up right here. And... Um, we want to go with it. The key is finding the entries. And we had a few entries here. Um, this was a little tougher over here. But it was really kind of hard to know. I mean, it's obvious we're in an uptrend here. But it looked like we were headed lower. And then all of a sudden, just out of the blue, it reverses and takes off. So, And that was slightly after the 9 a.m news so i mean that's 10 a.m but you know those these speakers you, you know they talk for an hour or two sometimes and you don't know what point of their speech they're going to say something that might catch the market off guard and it takes a minute for that news to get out as well so um that could very well be what sparked this rally maybe they said they're gonna they're talking about lowering interest rates again um who knows but again, it doesn't really matter. We don't pay any attention to the news anyway. We want to know when they're coming out. News like this, I don't really recommend that you be flat. These tests, you know, when they're luncheons and they're speaking or testifying or whatever, um, because it's not like a news item where right at that time they they uh, release some kind of news item. Uh, these guys are just speaking and, and they make you aware of it because you never know what they're going to say. And they could say something that, that the market likes or that spooks the market and it really affects it. So uh, and just as an example, maybe they said something about, they started talking about, okay, it's looking like maybe we can lower rates next next uh, next meeting or something. And that might have rallied the market. So anyway, just something to think about. Um, kind of a, kind of a, slow day as far as setups the volume did pick up a little bit today you can see there's a lot more bars than we have been saying seeing and when you see these little bitty bars let me zoom in here a little bit when you see these little bitty bars with very shallow corrections and lots of stems it doesn't look it but those are really strong trends when you see them pay attention to them and look for a, an entry because they're really strong trends and you can see how in the end this thing went up and even when it flattened out some it continued to go up and it could be there might even be another trend right up through here let me redraw that I didn't really draw that where I wanted to 
start right there. And that does look valid. So, um, that's another possibility if you saw it like that. It looks, it looks just as good as the way I drew it. Uh, I think you get to the same place either way. But, uh, right here, when we're correcting here, you don't really know, are we going to go higher or... Um, or have we got our break now and a couple of legs up and we're going to reverse or could just go sideways. But I think uh, the way I originally drew it, I think you still get to the same place. But you might have seen it like this instead. And that, and that wouldn't be wrong. And people send me their charts a lot of times. And they'll maybe they drew it like this without the shorter term stuff. And they'll ask me, well, you know, this looks right to me. What's wrong with my chart? And there's nothing wrong if you saw it this way. You can often see it slightly different. Is The key is do you come to the same conclusions, um, the right conclusions. And if you do, then, then that, if you saw it like this and it still got you there to the same spot, my, the way I drew the patterns, uh, it's fine. So um, don't think your chart has to look. 100% like mine every day uh, as long as your patterns are correct and they're still getting you to the same conclusion then you're okay now if you draw a pattern and it gives you to the wrong spot then I would question it so anyway hope that makes sense but uh, there it is mostly up today uh, it looked like we were going to try to fill the gap for a little bit, but it didn't happen, and then it was off to the races. Uh, we were up the rest of the day, and we almost, we didn't quite close on the eye, but it's really close. So, um, I mean, this thing seems to be pushing towards 5,700. <laughs> we're getting close. Will we make it? Uh, probably. Will we make it on this push? Maybe not. Well, we might even get to 6,000 before this thing's over, for November. Who knows? It just keeps going higher. Uh, you know, all we can do is go with it. So uh, we don't care which way it goes. I mean, I prefer it goes up personally because that just makes my long-term investments. You know, I don't want them to go great. I mean, it, as we're, if when we're day trading, we don't care where it goes as long as it moves up, down. We don't care. But longer term, I prefer the market go up because I do have other investments, longer term investments. Um, so I do prefer that it go up. Does it always go up? No, it doesn't. But uh, that's my preference uh, that it goes up. But this market really feels manipulated to me. We've, if you've heard me talk about this a few times in the past uh, recently, uh, but it just it doesn't feel natural. It feels manipulated, especially the way they rally it up late in the day when um, the volume's thin or late at night. Most of this movement. I mean, we had some pretty good movement today, but you can see a good bit of that. Almost 20 points of it was late in the day when it's easy to manipulate it. And another 16 points. So almost 30 points today of... 60 point move were during the low volume off hours so more than half of this move basically so I uh, you know I just don't trust it 100% and you don't know when they're going to come step in and run it up or step in and stop a, a sell off uh, but they do it and don't ask me who the, they is but um you know, it, it's hard to say exactly who does the buying and selling, but uh, we know the feds do inject money into the markets to um, keep them on track where they want them to go. And, and uh, my guess is this thing's going to continue to go up into the election at, the, at, the, at a minimum. So anyway, I'm, I've talked enough today. Didn't mean to get off on all this, but uh, since it was a short lesson, just some other thoughts. But uh, anyway, I'm going to wrap it up. 
We'll be back again to do it tomorrow. Tomorrow's actually Thursday. I can't believe tomorrow's already Thursday. This week's gone by quickly. Um, and that'll wrap up our week. But uh, I'm done for today. This is Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and we'll see you next time.